Welcome back to Math with Miss B and today we're learning negative numbers. Negative numbers are integers. On the number line, they are located to the left of zero. Using the number line to add, to add you simply move to the right of the number line. Using the number line to subtract, to subtract you simply move to the left of the number line. Let's use the number line to solve some problems. You have negative 2 plus negative 2. This positive sign would multiply with the negative sign and you end up with negative 2 minus 2. Okay? So anytime a positive is next to a negative number, it will give you back a negative sign. Right? So, now that you know what you have to do, and you move to the left when you're subtracting, you say negative 2, minus 2, you go 1 and 2. Your answer will be a negative number, which is negative 4. All right, so let's try this question. 3 plus negative 5. Again, you have a positive next to a negative number, and it's going to multiply with that negative number to give you... 3 minus 5. So we're going to start with 3, and since you subtract moving to the left, we're going to do that. So we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so your answer will be negative 2. All right, and here is the last one negative 3 plus 5. So we start with negative 3 and we add. When you add, you go to the right of the number line. And we're going to start with negative 3 here and we're going to the right. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So your answer will be 2. This can be written in the other way. So you would have 5 minus 3. So remember, the signs to the left of the number is what is for the sign. So negative 3 is for 3 and positive 5 is for 5. So you can flip it around or switch it around such that you still have this as positive 5 and 3 as negative 3. And you get the answer too, which is absolutely correct. Here are some helpful rules about positive and negative numbers. A. A positive number plus a positive number is equal to a positive number. B. A negative number plus a negative number will give you a negative number. C. A positive number times a positive number will be equal to a positive number. D. A positive number times a negative number will be equal to a negative number. E. A negative number times a negative number is equal to a positive number. It would help if you jot these down. F, a positive number divided by a positive number is equal to a positive number. G, a positive number divided by a negative number is equal to a negative number. And H, a negative number divided by a positive number will be equal to a negative number. Here are some more helpful rules about positive and negative numbers. 1. Positive plus negative numbers. These give a positive number if the positive number itself is larger than the negative number. For example, 10 minus 3 equals to 7. J. Positive plus negative gives a negative number if the negative number itself is larger, ignoring the sign, than the positive number. For example, negative 10 plus 3 will give you negative 7. Let's divide using negative numbers. Remember, if you divide by a negative number, you'll get a negative number. If you divide a negative number by a positive number, you will get a negative number. And if you divide a negative number by a negative number, you will get a positive number. You may pause the video to try these questions. If you got negative 2 for negative 8 divided by 4, you are definitely correct. If you got negative 2 for 8 divided by negative 4, you are correct. And if you got a positive 2 for negative 8 divided by negative 4, you are correct. Great job. Let's multiply using negative numbers. A, 8 times negative 4. B, 
negative 8 times 4 and C negative 8 times negative 4. Let's remember the rules. A positive number times a negative number will give you a negative number. A negative number times a negative number will give you a positive number. Good luck. You may pause the video to try this question. Great. So if you got negative 32 for A, great job. If you got negative 32 for B, awesome job. And if you got positive 32 for C, fantastic. Thanks for watching. Math with Miss B. Bye, folks.